Thank you for joining me on this episode of Highway Spec. We're going to do a spec we've been waiting for for a while. That is the new Toyota Tacoma. So here we go, we've got the outlay, we've got the new Tacoma. Now, of course, the Hybrid Max motor is not available yet, so we can't build one with one of those. However, we do have the SR, SR5, TRD Pre-Runner, TRD Sport, TRD Off-Road, and the Limited models. So of course, later is the TRD Pro coming out with that Hybrid Max motor. So first off, we have to digest all this. Base price starting at 31,500, up to $52,100 starting price for the Limited. Now for me personally, this this one's going to be fairly easy because I did actually put my name on a list for a Tacoma at one point. I ended up buying another vehicle, but I did have an idea of where I wanted to go with this, and that was the TRD off-road model. So that starts at $41,800, 18 miles per gallon city, 23 highway with this new 2.4 liter turbocharged four-cylinder motor. And this is where it actually gets interesting. When I put my name on the list for one of these Tacomas, I wanted a manual transmission one. Manuals are dying out. I wanted to still get a manual while I could by Toyota offering a manual transmission I thought this is great this is what I'm going for and then I drove a manual Tacoma granted not the new one the current body style four door with a manual short bed TRD off-road model and I was underwhelmed this is actually a vehicle where I think does need the automatic transmission so because of that we can choose the six foot bed the only way to get a manual is with the five foot bed so we're gonna go with the six foot bed it doesn't quite fit as well proportionally as with the five foot bed but it obviously gives you more capability in terms of putting longer items in there well duh now with that six foot bed we are at forty four thousand eight hundred and ninety five dollars that gets us with the eight-speed automatic transmission and the iForce 2.4 liter turbocharged motor making 278 horsepower it only makes 270 with the manual so we're at a slight advantage with eight more horsepower and a couple more gears all right now we can dive into the color options we can get the solar orange it looks like that was a TRD Pro color, but as with most TRD Pro colors, they trickle down to the TRD off-road models after a year of exclusivity. You can get this unique bronze oxide color or blue crush metallic looks nice as well. You do have the supersonic red, but for me personally, the bright colors are where I would be looking at because in a sea of white, gray, and black cars, this would look different. So that puts us at $45,320 so far. Now here we've got a bunch of different options. This is something that is a little bit confusing about how Toyota does things because some of their packages are pretty easy. They only give you three or four to choose from. However, with this, they're giving you a bunch and each one just has one little subtle difference between them. So it's gonna take me a second to go through these and figure out what exactly I want. Okay, starting on the end here, you've got mud guards, heated seats, audio multimedia upgrade, which gets you that big 14 inch screen. The stabilizer disconnect mechanism doesn't actually say specifically what it does, but I assume it's like a sway bar disconnect. So I do want to do the heated seats and the stabilizer disconnect, and I do want the audio multimedia upgrade. What I don't want is the TRD off-road upgrade package because that actually gets you leather trimmed seats. Normally I'm not opposed to leather or faux leather seats. However, Toyota's I'm not so much a fan of. They're soft techs. It doesn't really breathe very well in my experience and gets really hot in the summer. So I want to keep the cloth seats and that basically leaves me with two options. If I want these SDM as they call it, the audio multimedia upgrade and the heated seats, I have these two options. One just gives me mug guards and the other doesn't. I'm going to go without them for 2660 and that puts me at $47,980 before we jump into the accessories. Now a lot of these I'm not going to really care about and interesting that they are now offering gunmetal emblem overlays instead of just black but it does cost a little bit more money to do that. I do want to have the integrated dash cam because I do think that is really nice to have especially having it integrated from the factory. You can get this little bluetooth speaker that actually stores in your dash which is kind of a unique thing but for me, I'm gonna skip it. This roof rack is actually really cool, but for $1,200, I'm not quite sure that's going to be in the budget. I do wanna add the spray on bed liner just to keep the bed looking nice. And being that it's relatively low to the ground, I'm not gonna do any of the steps on the side of the vehicle. And, and here you've got a bunch of different accessories that they're offering from other companies. And personally, I'm gonna skip just right on over those. And there we go. That is my total build, $49,054 for a brand new 2024 
for Toyota Tacoma TRD off-road model. Now again, this is without the Hybrid Max motor. I am curious to see how much of a difference that's going to be price-wise, but here you can see the spec, the solar orange with the longer bed, and we added the stabilizer disconnect method, the 14-inch screen. Doesn't look like it's shown there. It looks like it's showing the smaller screen, but I did select it with that giant screen on there. Going with the cloth seats, and there it is. What do you think of my build of the brand new Toyota Tacoma? What would you do differently? Make sure to drop a comment below. And if you liked this video, please consider liking and subscribing, and I will catch you on the next one.